Hello three, welcome to your literacy video for Friday the 12th of June. So today you'll need your literacy pack, we've got the week commencing the 8th of June and you can return all the way to Friday's learning where we'll be doing some reading and some comprehension today. Okay, so if you choose to do the mild sheet, so you should be doing that if you're, if you normally work with Mr Griffin or Mr Teat, okay, you'll have questions that look like this. So you've got your who, your where, and your what boxes. So you need to read the sentence and you need to fill in each box. So let's do one together. So I'm going to read my sentence carefully first. So I've got, down by the river, John skims stones with his brother. Okay, so down by the river, John skims stones with his brother. Okay, so I need to think who, so that's my red box. It's asking you who, so who, is your noun, your person. Okay, so I'm looking for a person. So down by the river, John. Okay, I can underline it if you like. Okay, so in my box, I'm going to write John. He is my who. Okay, the orange box then is your where. So where did this happen? Where did it take place? So down by the river, John skimmed stones with his brother. Okay, so my where is down by the river. Okay. Or you could just put by the river. So that's where it happened. Okay, there we go. Your yellow one then is your what? And this is the one we seem to struggle with the most. So if we're thinking of what, it's an action. What did they do? Okay, so down by the river, John skims stones with his brother. So what did he do? What's the action? Ah, he skimmed stones. Okay, so I'll write that in my box and I can copy the spellings from my sentence. Okay. If you've got the medium version, you've got this story, so a helicopter tour of London. Okay, so you can perhaps pause the video now and read it through, and then we're going to do the first one together. So when you've got stories like this, make sure your first task is to read the whole story carefully. You can perhaps underline any key words, so any words that you perhaps don't understand, and you could maybe ask a parent what they mean, or you could maybe Google the definition to find out. Okay, so or any words you're struggling with, underline them and then ask a parent to help you with your reading. Okay, so it says read the text carefully and answer these questions below. So the first one says, where would you find the crown jewels? Okay, so I've already read my text. I'm now looking for a key word in my question. So where would you find the crown jewels? So I need to think, what words in that question might I find in the text? And I think it would be crown jewels. Okay, so I need to know where they are found. So I'm going to skim the text. I'm not reading it really carefully. I'm having a quick look through. I'm going to go from top to bottom to find the words crown jewels. And I'm going to underline them. Okay, so. Oh, I found it. There we go, crown jewels. So I'll go back to the beginning of the sentence and read it through. So let's look. Okay, so beside the Thames, you can see the Tower of London, where the crown jewels are kept. And over in the distance is Buckingham Palace. So I don't need to read on because I've already found my answer. Beside the Thames, you can see the Tower of London, where the crown jewels are kept. So they're kept in the Tower of London. Okay, so I'm going to answer my question. Oh, there we are. And I'm going to make sure. Oh dear, my board's not working. Bear with me. There we go. I'm going to make sure I'm writing in a full sentence. If I just put Tower of London, okay, yeah, I might get it right. I've got I've found the answer. But if I didn't have the question there, I wouldn't know what you were telling me. Okay, so we need a full sentence. So, I'm going to write the crown jewels oh, that's 
to Jake's not working out. There we go. The crown jewels are prepped. Oh, my ears not going on very well. Okay, so the crown jewels are kept in the. Okay, so the Tower of London, it's a name, it's a proper noun, so I need a capital letter. Tower of London. Full stop. Okay, you could have perhaps extended that to the crown jewels are kept in the Tower of London, which is beside the Thames, if you wanted to make it longer. But that's fine, making sure you've got a full sentence, it makes sense, you've got a capital letter and a full stop. Okay, if you choose to do the hot version, so if I'm in your reading books, you read white banded books or above, okay, you might want to go for this one as a bit of a challenge. Anything below, I'd perhaps go for the medium one. Okay, but you've got a different story and you'll answer the questions in the same way. Good luck.